Hey Larkers, so we're heading down the beach. Here we are doing, this is a, just a walk to the main part of the beach, but sometimes you can find some cute stuff. And I just found this little tiny shard of blue ceramic and it says blue on it. How cute is that? Anyway, I thought um, that was a cute start. So got a couple of things in the bag already. Found this fish. I think it's a, um, a decoy for a fisherman. So anyway, I picked that up. <laughs> Maybe the dog would like it, I don't know. So we're just gonna keep walking and look, ooh, what is that? What is that? Oh, I don't know what that is, but it's gross. So, mum's over there with a big stick, seeing what she can find. We're gonna get to the corner here, which is the, the, um, the main portion of the dump, but we're gonna see if we can find anything on the way. I found a couple of pieces of ceramic with some pretty patterns on. Let's see if I can show you. See, oh, I found this taxi cab door and this, I think this is an old diner coffee cup. Cute little piece of ceramic with a strawberry on it. A few bits. This is not really where you find all the good stuff, but it's a nice warm up to see what we got. Anyway, we'll just keep walking and uh, maybe we'll see Adele today or Meryl. I don't know, some of the regulars. Oh, hard candy over there. What's this? Oh, some kind of electrical thing. So I found out last time I was here that um, what had happened, a lot of the people that, this says Revlon, I think this one is a, um, nail polish bottle. So what had happened was the people that lived in an area around here, I'm not, not exactly sure where, they were evicted to build, I think to build this highway. Wait, I don't know if you can, oh, actually, I don't know if you can see it, but to build that highway. So they were all evicted from their homes. The homes were demolished and then that, all the demolition stuff was also brought here. So we see a ton, and I always wondered why we saw a ton of electrical stuff, like electrical boxes and wires and all sorts, but apparently that's why. So it's kind of sad, really. Wow, that's a big, big chunk. I think that's an old pond bottle. A lot of people lost their homes, but there's also, you know, that was just at the end when things were, when things were closing down around here. But this dump goes back way before then. You see loads of shoes, tons of shoes. I don't know why. Tons of stockings as well, nylon stockings. Obviously, bottles, it is the bottle beach after all. That's a cool cup. What does that say? Hand painted. Don't see anything else identifying on there, so we'll just pass on that. I hope my mics are working. It's too sunny for me to be able to see whether they turned on or not. So we'll see, I guess, when we get back. What have you got? Oh, how cool. Looks like a little shoe. Mum just found this, it's really cool. Hang on, let me get this. Let me get the water out. Mum just found this. It's, uh, how cool is that? Is anything written on it? I guess we'll do some research on that when we get back. That's fully intact. There's not a chip out of that, Mum. Not a chip out of it. That's really cool. Um, we'll see, we'll do a bit of research on some of this stuff. So, you know, when we are back at the house later, we'll uh, inform everybody, after, well, inform us and everybody else of what we found and see if we can get any cool information to share with everyone. So, we'll go around this corner. Oh, there's a fisherman. I don't know if you can see him. There's a fisherman over there. 
go around this corner and this, like I said, this is kind of the, the not so great bit, but you still keep your eyes open, it's still worth it. Um, I think that's an old salt and pepper shaker. <laughs> little kid's shoe. Look at that, little kid's shoe, a little heel. I do kind of like them, but they're taking home every shoe. I just find it fascinating, all this stuff. Like, you just don't think that things that we take for granted now that are, you know, made out of plastic or easily made or things that we make now that are just disposable that are not going to be around for people like us to collect in a in hundred years. It kind of makes me a little sad. But I guess we're saving the planet <laughs> at the end of the day. What's that? That's like a part of a doll's house. Oh yeah, it's a, oh look. Oh, I just wiped all the clock face off of it, but it's part of a grandfather clock. Toy grandfather clock for a doll's house. There's some, uh, it's in a few um, horseshoe crabs recently, which is good. They've been missing for a long time. So, you know, don't like to see them dead, but seeing them dead means they're around, which is what we want. That's a cute piece of ceramic. That's a nice piece of ceramic. I've got a bunch of those, it's an old ink pot. What's that? Piece of coal. Is it coal? I yeah. don't think it might be. I'm yeah. just picking up. I don't want to. Chunk of coal. It's that coal that doesn't burn. You know the stuff that never, you'd always find like one random in your coal delivery? And then it'd be really shiny and doesn't burn. Where? Oh my god, it's tiny. Whoop. Look at that thing. Fascinating. I think a lot of, one of the things that I realized on our last trip was um, how many things that we take for granted are plastic now, like um, prescription bottles. Prescription bottles are, were made of ceramic, so a lot of these small little bottles, especially the brown ones, I think, are just people's discarded prescription bottles because I found I think I found one in the bank that was that part of the same cup found one in the bank that had still had the label on it I'll um, dig it out and show you when we get home later but it still had the label on it so that was pretty cool what is this there's another nasty thing here what is that it's like some kind of fish I guess I know there's one here too. I kept finding bits of one down there. It's gross. It must be some kind of fish. If anybody knows what kind of fish that is. Let us know. Seems to have a lot of gills. All right. I'm on a mission to find some marbles today. Found a handful, I think four or five last time. So I'd love to find some more this time. See, I think this one, if you can see it, this brown one is an old prescription bottle. I wonder if we'll see any, any folks down here today. weather is beautiful. Whoa, is that a boat? There's a boat here. Mom, there's a boat. What the heck? What the heck is that? Well, that's wild. That's probably been there for a while. Let's take a look. Oh, my God. Flipping crazy is that? Well, I never expected to mud like a boat today, but there you go. <laughs> there's 
There's a boat there. There's a boat there, Ma. Ma. I don't think I am. One of the Waltons. There's a boat there. Never saw that before. What's that? Yes. It must have been there a while. It's covered in graffiti. Oh, what's this? Oh, I think this is one of those little... It's like they have these little creamers that look like cats and rabbits with these pastel colours on. That's really pretty. It's a shame it's just the top part. Oh, someone's smoking pot. It's probably that fisherman over there. He's partaking in the green lettuce, is what he's doing over there while he's fishing. That's a good way to chill out, I guess. All right, so this point from here and around is where we usually find all the really good stuff. So, keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything interesting that I missed, leave a comment with the timestamp and I'll see if I can look it up and get some history on it for you. Oh, that would have been pretty too. That's a shame. That would have been really nice. Maybe I'll take it anyway. It's a really pretty colour piece. We might find some other pieces from it. Whoop. Whoa, hello. Hello, Tide. The tide's only been going out for an hour, so that's why it is still pretty aggressively looking like it's coming in. So we'll have a poke around here. This bank is usually a good, a good place to look at the trusty trowels and we'll see what we can find. Ooh. That is almost squib. That must be ink. Hmm. Huh? No idea. No idea, but they look like they're going fishing. Oh, it's a bell. Look, a bell's here. Hi, Dell. How you doing? Good. Find out yet? Right. You find anything yet? No. Right. Yeah. Down below, two pennies, wares, oh, nice. Dog, maybe. I found this. Oh, we took fishing war. <laughs> yeah. Take it one for my dog. See if she wants to throw it around for a bit. This. It's got some writing on it. Oh, cool. And this has got to be a medallion. Oh, yeah, it looks like it. It's got yeah. the little hook, right? It's got something. I hope so. I think I need that. I like dug for it. My hand hurts. <laughs> I, think, I think my ass all hurts, too. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> I can't read what that says, but that's cool. You gotta wait for the tide. Yeah. Dorian got like 40, 50 marbles yesterday. Get out. That's why I'm here. Look on this. All right. It's kind of cute, right? I not what it is. Better but than nothing. Better than nothing. I can now. My mum found it. The tide didn't go well. Yeah, we figured we'd just wander up and down for a bit and wait for the tide. I was hoping to find some marbles. I got like a handful last not time. Now. It's too high. Yeah, when Get it goes down. down. Yeah. They're like when it goes to the bottom almost. Yeah. You got quite a bit. Yeah, well, we're going to be here for a bit. Yeah. Tommy. Yeah. And Kat and the, the idiot kid I got a baby And uh, somebody else was here. I, I, I was here with them, with Tommy and Doreen. Then I had to leave to get the kid. Today was the only day nobody's here. There were two ladies with two dogs. Someone brought their dog here? They, left. they didn't pick up nothing. Oh, that's good. And I went to the car, got some soda, ate a half a sandwich, came back. And these are the only two that showed up. Yeah. There's a bunch it's, of fishermen yeah, over there. still young to yeah. watch when the tide goes down. 
That's when the friggin' they come. That's when the... Like coming back up. You know? But the mom was a down part. That's when Doreen was fighting them like crazy yesterday. Down that way? Yeah, walking back and forth around the back. Yeah. Last time I was leaving, I found like five in this area. Yeah, not no more. No. We're not going to find out here. Yeah, I'll be here for a Do few hours. Get out. She found the ring. I didn't find nothing much of anything because I had to go get that knucklehead kid. Yeah. Kids. Can't keep him, can't get rid of him. How is he going to get here? You know, with Uber? So I was nice enough to offer the ride. got to come back again. Are you going to pick him up again today? No. Oh, good. When, when Pat tells me his rings are, it's only two rings. I got a bunch of rings for all my fingers. Maybe he's got a crush on you, Adele, and he wants you to keep driving him around. <laughs> all I know is, is what, when Pat says they're ready, I got two of them all the time. <sighs> How long have you been coming here? What? How long have you been coming here? I used to make up here with my dad. Oh, you did? When I was a kid, fish down on the bridge. Wow. So basically, I know this whole thing. Yeah, you've known it like the back of your hand. I've got one of those. We better walk. Yeah, we better walk. We're getting told off. <laughs> so that's Adele. She is quite the character, as you can probably tell. And I think I'm gonna have to do a lot of, uh, I'll have had to do a lot of beeping out. <laughs> She's cracked me up. I heard the C word and the F bomb dropped more times in the last 10 minutes and, oh, I certainly did. <laughs> I don't know if my mics are working, but I got it all uh, on camera. We better keep walking up and down before we get in trouble. Do you know what I hear? Adele kept saying, you gotta walk up and down. You gotta walk up and down. I know. Like a, that looks like a little piece of the... So where is everything going to be? So it keeps washing out, so as the tide goes out, we'll just keep walking up and down. Oh, right. Find a little piece of a buckle or something. Yeah. See? Yeah. A little, it looks like copper. So say like where the tide is, it kind of just gets dropped where the tide goes out. wild how people's lives are just scattered on this beach you know everything was just upended and they were just moved somewhere else and everything else ends up here doesn't have anything on it kind of sad really when you think about it actually That one says something. Federal law forbids sale and reuse of this bottle.
Payden City Pottery. And the white. There's a teapot lid. I love these. I think these are old. Oh wait, that's just something on it. I think these are old. I thought they were old nail polish bottles, but this one actually says something on it. Let's see. Not for sale separately. Can you see it in this pretty bottle in the sun there? Yeah. There's lots of pretty jade out on the beach today too. I'd love to find a whole piece. Is this a toy? Let's see. A toy could be a good sign because that means there could be more toys in the area. This is what's eroding out right now, but I don't know if it's a toy or not. Yeah, it's a toy. Oh, you know, I know what this is. This is one of those, um, what do you call them? So it's a circle and it's got letters and numbers and then you can move the letters and numbers around. I forget the name of it. I'll have to, I'll have to try and remember. The older ones are made on um, wood. This one's made on plastic, but that's cool. That's, what, that's exactly what that is. pieces of it too, yeah. I'm just I guess that means there's more toys around here. Oops that uh, yeah there's another toy. That looks like the it's like a dinosaur or some kind of Dr. Zeus at Creature. Let's see what else we got here. A uh, nice piece of ceramic. Uh, uh. Hoffman's, Hoffman's Quality Beverages. That's a full bottle. I'm going to take that. That is an undamaged bottle, so I'll put that in the bag for sure. That is a drink stirrer with a seahorse. Oh my God, <laughs> get your brain together, babe. Um, that is a seahorse and that's a drink stirrer with a little olive fork on the end of it. It's got some writing on it too. Can't quite make that out just yet, but oh, that's awesome. I love that. Hey, so I'm just going to jump in for a second here because this little seahorse olive pick um, took me on quite a journey. The writing on the side of it said Elbow Beach Surf Club, Paget Bermuda. And while I was researching this, looking for some photographs and things, I found out that a gentleman on the Isle of Man, probably in the late 19th century, earlier, early 20th century, promised his grandchildren a thousand pounds if they would cross the Atlantic and set up a business. And one of those grandchildren, Richard Berry Johnson, um, was on a recuperation trip with his wife to Bermuda and decided he was going to build the Elbow Beach Surf Club. So he started building it in 1908. There was three uh, rental cottages at that time. Um, in 1912, it was complete. So the surf club has been around for well over a hundred years. It survived during World War II because the US Navy actually rented most of the hotel to the construction and build, uh, building companies who erected the 
naval bases on the island to support the war effort. And it is still there. Um, it is now a 400 room luxury hotel sitting on 34 acres and it has been owned by three, uh, three people, not people, but companies over the years. So it was owned by Richard Berry Johnson. Then it was owned by a gentleman called Frithholm. And finally it was sold to the um, UAE, a Saudi dignitary in the Might UAE owns it. And he has actually Spend fully refurbished the around. hotel. Um, really fascinating history. There's a lot to read up about it. There's a lot of details you can find online, but it's uh, super cool. Oh, and that is why I love this hobby. You just, you don't know what little you find will bring a great story to your life. Love it. And I hope you enjoyed that too. More pieces of that red toy. blue glass that's really pretty if you can see that it needs a clean but it's very pretty I'm trying to see if I can see what it says on the bottom but not really Philadelphia something from Philadelphia I'll put it in the bag Alright, this is kind of an interesting little spot. Uh, <laughs> look, how cute! That's these tiny little spectacles. They're so cute. In the bag. Because we all know I'm a sucker for toys. This is what I'm saying about the medicine bottles. These are like the old medicine bottles. Oh, there's another toy. What's this one? He's a cute little giraffe. Oh my god, he's so cute. Can you see that? Cute little plastic giraffe. I may have found my favourite spot. I'm going to put my bag down. Put the bag down and uh, definitely have a quick poke around here for a few minutes. metal thing out the way. Quite a few of these metal bars. Wow, that's prickly. Keep hoping for some marbles, but we haven't found any today yet, so you never know, we might find some. What's that round thing? Oh, I think it's just a bottle top. Yeah, it's just a bottle top. Ooh, look at all those ants. Gross. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm ready to move on. <laughs> All right. Let's keep wandering. Might keep walking down to the shore, actually, because if there's toys coming out the bank here, there's a good chance that they might wash down down here, right? At least that's my uneducated guess about how 
things might go. I guess it depends on which way the tide's going. Is it going that way when it comes in? Is it going that way? Who the hell knows? Oh, someone else has tried to pull that out. That's a nice piece of glass. Is that a ring? Is that a ring? I don't know. I don't know if that's a ring or not. Take it home and clean it up. We'll take a look. That would be cool. But I was actually... Anything good? Oh yeah. Uh, one of the school kid ones. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Look, I told you, look, there's more come in. Yeah, it's all good. It's cool. Cool, you gotta clean it up. Yeah, this is, a, up too. this is the second one I found. The other one was in a lot worse condition, so this one's right, cool. Clean it up and see who. I found one and the lady lived, she lived over here somewhere. Then she moved to another state and she died. Oh. Like 1970 or something. Oh, wow. Yeah, I found her. Yeah, I'm going to clean it up and see if I can find her. Find whoever, whosoever it yeah, is. I will. I'll post it on my page. Keep going. Yep. Keep going. Keep going. Keep it up, ladies. Come on. No more dog tags, Mum? No more dog tags? Oh yeah, no. But the cool piece is like that shoe bottle is really cool. Yeah. Oh look, a door, a doorknob. Yeah. Nah, it's a bit banged up, but it's cool. It is cool. A real old one. Lovely day though, isn't it? The green teacup handle there. We found a green tea kettle lid and two other bits of green teapot. So obviously someone's entire tea service was tossed in the dump here. Really sucks. That's like I think that's a part of a bottle stopper. It's all banged, it's all broken, but it's pretty. It's got a pattern on it. Like, it looks like a lotus. It's like a lotus leaf, maybe? I don't know. It's pretty, though. What's this? this looks like a new, another toy. Is it? Or is it? What the heck? Ah! Oh, how cute! It's a telephone. It's a toy telephone. And there's the dial. Oh, what a shame. That one's definitely rot. Oh, stuck in a tree. <laughs> Look how cute. How cute is that? It's a shame it's all bang, all just corroded. I guess the dial, yeah, the dial's metal. But that's cool. Uh, let's see if I can find, I bet I can find that toy. Red toy telephone. All right, where there's one toy, there's more, right? That's the theory we're going with anyway. Someone's had a real good dig here. And there's a bulb that didn't make it, but I have a strong suspicion that bulb didn't make it by, because someone dug it out and broke it, not because it was broken in the dump. So 
a nice looking blue bottle here. I think this is a third, yeah, it's another Philips Milk and Magnesia. And some things haven't changed over the years. Philips is still making Milk of Magnesia. And we're all still taking it. Actually, I'm not. Gross. But I'm pretty sure I was forced to take it when I was a kid. However. Oh, what's that little? Little lid. Oh, it's pretty. It's like a little toilet of some kind. Ooh. I found a button. That's my first button of the day. Plastic, but still a button. These wine, these wine bottles are tricky because they look like a little globe or a bottle stopper. They're just an upside down wine bottle. Which is obviously something you do not want to stand on. Hence, hence the hiking boots. What's this? That looks like uh, some kind of beer. Beer bottle of some kind. More medicine bottles. Oh God, what's that? That's still got medication in it. Looks like little coffee beans, but it's medication. Bathroom. Oh. I was hoping that was a silver bracelet, but alas, it was a gasket seal. Easy mistake to make, especially when you know nothing about gasket seals or silver. Yeah. Nothing, Mum? You buying anything? I found some cute little toys. Yeah. yeah. I think we found this before. This is an old, uh, I think I found this before. It's an old juicer. Pretty sure I found that before. I'm pretty sure it's also not the only one in the dump. So. I spy an ear. Anybody else see the ear? Oh, that was weird. A little baby face. Oh, how cute. That was probably a really cute doll at some point in time. But now, not so much. I wonder if I can uh, bring it back to doll shape. It's a lot more. It's a lot more malleable than I was expecting. There we go. Semi doll shape. Let's give my mum a scare. Just turn around and whack me with a stick. Oh, oh yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> <sighs> oh no, you know.
know what I've done. There it is. I put my bloody bestest trowel down. That's Shawnee. That's Shawnee pottery. But wisdom, maybe? Wisdom? Hmm. Let's see if I can figure out that. I'm not going to bring it, but when I see this again on the video, any more toys? Roller skates. been a big oh my god that's an old washing machine and a mangle that's the mangle this is a washing machine holy cow they literally threw everything and the kitchen sink and dishwasher in here what's that what the heck is that what's it say stanley home products Well, it's rubber, so I'm thinking maybe it's a shower head? I don't know, what do you guys think? It's squishy. I mean, not terribly squishy, but it's a little squishy. Looks like a sh Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I keep having mild panic attacks and I'm gonna lose my trowel. Jeez. It's like every time you leave a room, you have to um, frisk yourself, well I do, to make sure you've remembered to take your phone with you. Because more often than not, I've put my phone down somewhere. They used to laugh at me at work because when we were doing warehouse sales and stuff, they would constantly hear me going, is anybody seeing my phone? Because I would have put it on a table and completely forgotten where it was. I, I don't know how. I have not actually, and I shouldn't even say it out loud, but that's really cool as well, because that has, can you see it? It has a horseshoe in it. How cool is that? Keep that. Um, I don't even want to say it out loud, because if I do, I'll probably end up, you know, losing a phone. And that would not be good. Pretty sure that is a doll's butt. It looks like a doll's butt, right? Calves, butt, shoulders, neck, and head. So let's see. That's exactly what it looks like to me. Yep. It's an old creepy doll. That is so creepy. Look at the little hand, the knees. I think it's an inflatable one too. It's wild. Oh, some buttons here. There's one. You see the other one right there? Two. It's combed. Just gotta put these in the bag so I don't lose the buttons. There's a men's shoe. 
leather man's shoe. Not a leather man, I mean a leather, you know what I mean. Oh, another horseshoe crab. Another wallet there. I could literally, I know I said I was going to turn around when we got to the car, but I could literally spend the entire day walking up and down this beach. It's just amazing. Look, I left my damn bag over there again. Oh. All right, I'm gonna walk around this area and then head back and get my bag. Another wallet, somebody's checking out, see if they've left any money in it. Clearly not. So hey guys, thanks for joining us on this stroll up and down the beach at Dead Horse Bay. I hope you enjoyed what we found. And um, if you do like our videos, please click that like button. It really helps us out and subscribe. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks guys. Mm -hmm.